Our Brandon Pates is in Elon now with a look at what some business owners are saying tonight about having to enforce the new rules. It is all new tonight at 10 o'clock. Well, non-essential businesses like CNR Ski Outdoor in Elon have been facing so many challenges over the past few months. They've been closed for six weeks. Now that they can officially open, they're facing another hurdle. They have to ask every customer that walks in to wear a face mask. Um, got a shop full of stuff and nobody's coming in to buy. Marty Franklin is the general manager at CNR Ski Outdoor in Elon. Just doesn't seem like there's any interest in anything right now. His shop had to close for six weeks because of the pandemic, and while his shop is open now, his business is barely getting by. A lot of people are just kind of pushing back their, their beach trips, and obviously they're not purchasing this year. Governor Roy Cooper announced Wednesday that face masks will become mandatory in public starting on Friday. Businesses like Marty Franklin's are in charge of making sure their customers are following the rules. I don't think that as a store owner, I should be required to, I guess, quote unquote, enforce the regulations or the laws that they're putting out. Officials with the Alamance County Sheriff's Office say they recommend that people comply with the governor's order. However, they will not issue citations to business owners who don't comply. If someone comes to my store and says they don't want to wear a mask, I'm not going to run them out. While the Sheriff's Office won't cite business owners for not wearing a mask, they say they may cite a customer for trespassing if a business asks them to wear a face covering and they refuse to leave. That's in line with Governor Cooper's order. I think it's a little overkill. Um, if someone chooses to not wear it, that's up to them. And while we did talk to people off camera in favor of the mask order, Patty Hellman says it's a little much. If you're not wearing it, I think you can still take precautions, be six feet apart do hand sanitizer, things like that. If someone comes to my store and wants to wear a mask, they're, they're free to do so. If they feel that uncomfortable in here because someone isn't wearing a mask, um, I will try to accommodate everyone. And this order from the governor goes into effect Friday at 5 p.m. And businesses like this are expected to require their customers to wear face masks until July 17th. Reporting in Elon, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News. Brandon, thank you very much. WXII reached out to more than a dozen other law enforcement agencies today about this executive order to enforce making face coverings mandatory. Most agencies chose not to comment. Kernersville police told us over the phone they plan to educate people and that enforcing it would be a last resort. Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page says they will not be enforcing it. They say their focus is on true crime in the county and they hope people listen to the governor's orders. Well, here's a look at where our 